Hello my friends, this is Mike from Seawater Pro, another beautiful day in uh, Florida, we're at the Lighthouse Point, we are testing uh, another water maker and uh, the first thing we're going to do, this is a brand new water maker, what we want to do is soak the membranes by recycling some fresh water, so we just got some fresh water, uh, tap water, plain tap water. We submerge uh, the boost pump in a bucket and we're gonna recycle oh, for about 15 to 20 minutes and then we're gonna let these membranes sit around for at least 12 hours so because these are dry membranes they're a higher higher quality membrane than the wet ones but require a pre soaking so it's, it's a very simple procedure like you see here we're just recycling water for a few minutes then we're gonna turn it off leave it let it sit for a few hours and then go ahead and use it and by the way in case I forgot to mention we are not running the high pressure pump at this point we're just running the boost pump and the pressure is all the way out counterclockwise at zero pressure we don't want to pressurize the system until the membranes are soaked Again, the only time you want to do this soaking procedure is when the membranes are brand new, when you receive the unit, and this is the first time you, you'll be using it. Uh, that is the only time where you require to soak the membranes. At no other time you need to do this. Now, step number two, after a few hours of soaking, I leave the uh, boost pump in the fresh water. I'm just recirculating at this point. And uh, what I'm doing is I'm turning up the pressure just a little bit at a time. This is again only for the first time you run. So I'm getting some flow from the fresh water output. Just l let that happen for a few minutes. And then turn off the high pressure pump and we now we can start making salt water. Now we... Uh, we submerge the uh, the intake hose in the water. And we will slowly raise the pressure. Take your time the first time. Let's 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 hover over 300 psi a little bit for a little bit longer. And pretty soon we're gonna start seeing fresh water production. At about six, seven hundred psi, you'll see already start producing water. And let's go to nine hundred psi. This is the designed operating pressure, and we are right now at fifteen gallons. Twelve. Close to 15 gallons per hour. The, the system is rated for, we call it a 10 to 12 system, but depending on where you are, you may get a lot more. So now you're at what? 1,000 psi. Let's try the top of the green, which is 1,000 psi. And we are pegged off the scale over 16 gallons per hour. So let's go back down to 800 psi. 900, sorry. 900 psi and let's get all the air bubbles out we are exactly where we're supposed to be at about 11 11 gallons per hour and this is perfectly good water to drink Thank 
that to get an accurate reading of the float meter you want to hold it straight up and down and the shutdown procedure is exactly the same in reverse slowly take down the pressure Do you have one? Right on that boat right there. Really? What brand do you have? Like I bought it from Wally Moran. Oh, really? Seawater Pro. You got a Seawater Pro? Yeah. Congratulations. Exactly like that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, that doesn't happen every day, but hey. <laughs> okay, now we're going to rinse it. So, Mikey, go ahead and uh, turn it off for a second. And we're gonna use the fresh water we have in the bucket just to give it a quick rinse. So we'll bring in the uh, boost pump. We're actually using the fresh water that we made with the system. You can use, uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, Take the filter out. Filter out, yeah. Yep. It's a good idea. What he just did is he removed the filter because there is no need to be rinsing the filter. It, not that it's going to hurt anything, but it's totally up to you. So now I'm plugging in the uh, the boost pump. One pump, starting to recycle, and you can see here the fresh water is coming out. We made about half a gallon of uh, fresh water for the rinsing pur for rinsing purposes. When the bucket is empty, we're rinsed. So we want to rinse it with, just to get the uh, get rid of the salt water. Now, if you're pickling the system, what you would do, you would add 20% of the liquid pickling into this water, and when the bucket is empty, you're rinsed and pickled. The liquid pickling can be purchased from our website, and all the instructions are written on the bottle. Uh, one thing you got to watch out when you are pickling the system: make sure the pressure always at zero never raise the pressure during when, when this stuff is inside the membrane it will definitely harm the membrane so if you're coming out of a pickle you would connect uh, connect the system to some fresh water or salt water run it at zero pressure to make sure all this stuff is out before you start dialing up the pressure and if you have any questions we're always available at seawaterpro.com thank you for watching